are in a very violent uh, relationship with Kiwis and New Zealanders, because not all of them are Kiwis, of course. And uh, one of them, Juliana Cajena, was killed in her home. A Colombian girl in Christchurch. In Christchurch, that she was, he was leaving two two houses a part of her. Yeah. But you know, mental health in New Zealand is a huge problem where you yeah. can see people like in a normal way. She's normal. He's normal. But then one day, pff, yeah. become crazy guys. And she was killed by him. And the other girl was a Chilean. He, he's free. Is, he's is free. he not in a mental hospital or something? Or? No. No, as I know. I've been trying to, to talk to the people who used to be friends of Juliana and for, for uh, as now. They said they he he says that he was innocent, and the other girl was a Chilean who was uh, found in a in a in a beach here in Auckland. She was tied of hands and and feet in inside the water, all naked. And uh, there's people who testify about a guy who used to be his partner, her partner, and again, oh no, she she commits suicide, and they close the case. But we know there's a lot of reason we have to be careful about this guy who probably do that because they saw this girl with these guys probably an hour before she was found dead naked inside the water with a, I think was a rock in her leg so she could not float. So these type of things break my, my mind. It's like, okay, okay, okay. So, okay, that's news. I'm watching things quite concerned here yeah. that if we don't stop this i know the future of this because i come from that future it turns into complete impunity because totally it, it sends the message that people can literally get away with murder and it's usually women who get murdered as a result of impunity more that's that's shocking yeah um if i was in new zealand i would i would i would follow up on that on the story especially about the one in christchurch if, if that if that guy is really free like mental health or not like if he's not mentally unwell put him in prison if he is put him in a, a tight as you know security complex for god's sakes because he's a danger and someone's got to pay yeah that's 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 why I'm, I'm 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 very very um connected to these type of things because as hard it is because i don't of course i don't like these type of uh, news or investigations or cases is also my responsibility as a Mexican living in New Zealand to alarm people to say, okay, guys, I've seen this before when in Mexico, we used to have a very good life. It was always problems, of course, as any other country in the world, but not to the, to, not to the level that is today, not to the level that is today. I also left Mexico just because of this. I, I wouldn't left Mexico in my life, never, because I love my country, I love my culture, I never even expect to live overseas, never. But things were from one day to another, like what is happening right now in Auckland. Like it was not even a, an announced, like, like a process. No, it was like one day to another, everything changed. It was like so shocking. Yeah. That's happening right now in Auckland. From one day to another, robberies, smash, and kids. You say, these guys, I think the last guy they, taught, they took was in between nine years old, the youngest, and the oldest was 19 why these kids are doing this you guys have everything in my own opinion we we believe new zealand have everything you have benefits you have a uh, systems that can encourage you to get better as you said if you got a good job you can work but something is going on here that it's putting these kids on the street doing things like that not for hunger for fun for drugs and for alcohol uh, that's not okay well, it's I, I did the, those two years in lockdown, living in an apartment on Queen Street, and this this really is an issue which I, I I will criticize the government or any government who is in. But the reason why the the streets of downtown Auckland are now becoming they feel to be honest like they feel now sketchier than like downtown Bogota because there's all these drunk people right, and they're the most frustrating part is it is their benefiters and and this is not about left or right or anything like that but they're abusing the benefit the benefit yeah. is supposed to exist for people who are trying to get work 
you know, for single mothers who are pregnant, for those sort of things. And it shouldn't be allowed to be spent in cash at countdown on alcohol, which they're going to go and drink on the street. It just shouldn't. You know, we need to take a page out of uh, Australia's book in WA who um, organized the scheme, which was, okay, you want benefit money? You can have your benefit card, but it's only it's only going to be on a food card, which is going to work for, for your essentials or put it into education. But don't let them spend it on alcohol because that's what's raising all these street robberies so much. And that's why walking through downtown Auckland is suddenly, you know, I can't go. I couldn't go to countdown without like a pack of guys just sitting on the sidewalk screaming like fuck you cunt you know what i mean and sorry i, I don't know if i can sw swear here this is easy you can so I, I hear you i so hear you on that and and new zealand doesn't we have no excuse you know like why is that happening exactly that's that's something that it's been the feeling for everybody the yeah. feeling of everybody is as you said i read this uh for the people who don't know he wrote something in stuff magazine i was reading this um the day i i contact you and it was very interesting because of course the perception you have it's very different of course of um the perception maybe we have in in new zealand no but mm. here you were talking about the situation in guadalajara that happened very recently like i, I also saw this um, in the news and i also follow the news in mexico and i was very surprised for me because this type of type of scenes that I see on the recent attacks in, in Guadalajara and other states, that's the type of scenes I saw when I was with um, in Mexico when the the drug cartels uh, war was very on the top. That like cars and the army, blah, 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 all this, this crazy stuff where you were talking about the, the experience to be in a place where it's super colorful, amazing, mariachi, whatever. But one day to another, todo está bien hasta que no está bien. Ponías en, esta, sí. en este artículo que me encantó eso de todo está bien hasta que no está bien. You experience this. So mm. for you as, as a New Zealander, what's your your yeah. after after opinion because i think for you will be like why 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 that's the that's real thing here it was well it was interesting and especially on the comments to that piece specifically people got um heated people got very animated and there's a lot of opinions and what they told you i i didn't see the the comments i i, I just read it from, there, straight there from of, the article there was a lot of people who um i guess they might have mistook some of what i was saying which was When I said it wouldn't, I, I like to think like uh, get my face out of there, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody, we all, we all hate our faces. So yeah. I don't know why. When when I said um, uh, that that's never happened in New Zealand or something like this, or it wouldn't happen in New Zealand to the point that our, our government could possibly be infiltrated. You know that like if 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 someone like the mongrel mob or yeah. hunters or black power or whoever who are actually doing a lot of messed up stuff anyway, because they're aligning themselves with Ewes, Ewes who should be smart enough to, you know, who do so much good for the community. They, sh in my straight white male's opinion, I don't think they should ever collaborate with gangs because it's anyway, uh, it's that, that's another, another story. And they but, were, they were, they were coming about that. Uh, no, there, there's, there's, that's one side of it but um basically i couldn't have envisaged in new zealand where we just don't have the trade going through mexico is, is in in some one sense it, it's a victim of its geography right it's situated between south america which is so prosperous and all these things all these whether it's drugs or or even gold in colombia's mm -hmm. case you know it's all passing north You know, and, and Mexico is situated right there. And whenever there's that much resource, human greed is going to win out, you know, which is why there's these problems with corruption um, to that extent, um, yeah. which, you know, someone said South Auckland is way more dangerous than Mexico. I thought, well, South Auckland, <laughs> South Auckland, dude, they haven't had to deploy the military and the National Guard, have they? You know, it's not. Everything it's fine is until it's not fine is saying like it's a cold war until suddenly it's not. Or other times that the war here will rear itself, will rear its head in other ways, like with the disappeared. You know, a lot of the disappeared is linked to human trafficking or it's linked mm -hmm. to corrupt police um, basically getting, they can't prosecute anyone. So they just get someone who's 
supposedly selling drugs and they just disappear them. Like all that sort of stuff. Like, well, New Zealand is by no means perfect in that sense. That's why my heart goes out to Mexico because all the people trying to fight that or living under that state of paralysis or if that's why it's so, it makes me so angry to know that, you know, as you, as you told me tonight that femicides in New Zealand are now starting to trend that same way. That makes me so angry because the, the state of femicides here is that 94.8% will go unpunished. Yeah. So 5% of women mur mur murdered will see justice. And, and yeah. humans, even after they've died posthumous, they still have a right to justice, even if their body no longer lives, right? And that's what you're hearing on the streets here. And that's what you see at the femicide marches and stuff. And it, yeah. it's, all, it's all connected. 